Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome to a brand new Assassin's Creed Chronicles game. We are here with, uh, what could quite possibly be the best in the entire trilogy, Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Now, holy crap. I can already tell I'm going to enjoy this game after the unfortunate travesty <laughs> that was Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. Beautiful game, but very frustrating gameplay, and very underwhelming story that went literally nowhere. So, yeah, that was a shame, but uh, we're here with Russia now, and I haven't read the reviews for it, but I hear they're all very good. It's epileptic seizure warning, of course, what game is without one? And what Assassin's Creed game is without that religious faiths and beliefs disclaimer? Alright, here we are, to continue Nikolai Orlov's story. Now, I have read the Subject 4 series, um, the graphic novel, about Daniel Cross, Nikolai Orlov, his son... All that jazz, the Staff of Eden, all that cool stuff. So I know about that. I like how the shadow costume is bright white. It doesn't seem very shadowy to me. <laughs> but that's that's basically his outfit from the graphic novel. Close to it anyway, that's cool. I like the assassin. Are his main robes black then? Because that's pretty fucking cool. Okay. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm very excited to continue uh, Nikolai's story because I really like Nikolai. From, uh, Chronicles, uh, excuse me, <laughs> from The Fall, uh, or The Chain, Subject 4. And I really liked his son, uh, which he called Kenya. I don't remember his real full name, but I guess we might find out. But alright, let's start this with freaking Chinese food. Yummy, I'm hungry. Um, breakfast. Yeah, Petersburg, July 1918. Hmm. Nikolai. How long has it been? No, so fuck. You have worked for me. Always the charmer. But I'm glad it is you they sent. I have a dangerous assignment. Our informants reported that the Imperial family may have in their possession an old and very special box. It may be a piece of Eden. The box! The Tsar's family is in Yekaterinburg. Under guard. Just the local militia. Townsfolk under the command of the Commissar. Still, keep your senses sharp, Nikolai. If this box is what we think it is, the Templars are no doubt looking for it too. I've beaten them before. And they've beaten you, quite frankly. <laughs> it's one of the very first times you ever see Nikolai or read about him. He's getting his ass kicked by the Tsar. Okay, so my bad. Dawn of the Saws. July 1918, Ekaterinburg. A weary and disillusioned Nikolai Orlov is secretly planning to abandon the Assassin's Brotherhood and leave Russia with his family to start a new life in America. In order to gain the money required for their fake papers, he accepts one final mission, infiltrating the Templar-controlled city of Ekaterinburg. Why is it spelled differently? Why did you add a Y onto the beginning? <laughs> he must locate the house where the Imperial family are being held prisoner and recover from them a mysterious box, an ancient artifact long coveted by the Order. God damn right! <laughs> it's been sought after since Ezio gave it to Xiao Jun in, what year did he die? 1524? I think. Yeah. So. Mm, still important papers from Templar Guards and, oh my god, film grain. Holy crap, this looks exactly like, you know, old... Soviet propaganda. That's so freaking cool. It's like a black and white. Oh, that's awesome. But okay, I need to turn on subtitles for you guys. And that means I gotta exit. That's so dumb. Why don't you have an options menu in the actual gameplay? Like, I have to back out of this every single time I want to turn on the freaking subtitles? Or maybe adjust the brightness? One okay. Last time. One last the fuck? Why are you not on? I feel like I've had them both ways, and it doesn't make a shit lick of difference. And moment of truth. Nikolai. Hey! I got subtitles! Finally, for fuck's sake. Okay, we can play the freaking game now. Let's go. One last time. One last mission. Ooh. We will find you. Well, alright then. Yay, zip line you back. Woohoo! I have a rifle. I wonder if I can use it. 
I've also, um, you guys, if you follow me on Facebook, you would have seen the photo, um, or the screenshot, I guess. Artifact! I, uh, already 100%ed Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. It was actually easier than I thought it was going to be, but it was still ridiculous. Um, very frustrating. It just required precision that the game just, like, doesn't want to give you, really. But, hey, I did it. Fuck it. Had to cheese it in some areas, but, oh. I've seen more guards than normal beans and dirt. I was there this morning. Doesn't look good for the family. It's an ammunition for my rifle. Oh, I have to pickpocket them. Okay, I like how you give me that after I get up on top of the thing. Okay, hold on. Mm. I do I'll have rifle ammunition. You know what? I'm gonna go Copy. assassin. Oh, Boosh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I went shadow last time, but I realized it's way more fun to just murder everything. So, style grades, I know. Russian Revolution. You know what? Let's read about the Russian Revolution. And Ezio's box, shall we? This mysterious precursor box was once the property of Master Assassin Ezio Auditori before he gave it to Xiao Yun of the Chinese Brother. Xiao Jun? Fuck! Of the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins. Did I say Xiao Yun earlier, too? God damn it, I'm falling back into it. Xiao Jun lost the box to the Templars during her quest for vengeance. The box's whereabouts have been unknown to the assassins since then, except, of course, India. But we won't talk about that, because that game was not great. The Russian Revolution is a major event that led to the end of the Tsarist autocracy. I can never pronounce it. Is it autocracy or autocracy? Damn it. In 1917 and to the creation of the USSR in 1922. After the First Revolution, which took place in February in Petrograd, now St. Petersburg, the Tsar Nicholas II abdicated, and the power was seized by the Russian provisional government. After a period of trouble, the Bolsheviks, led by Vladimir Lenin, overthrew the provisional government and appointed themselves as leaders of the country. <laughs> this was the October Revolution, also known as Red October. The new power signed a treaty with Germany to end Russia's involvement in World War I, but a civil war erupted between the Whites, anti-socialist parties, and the Reds, the Bolsheviks, who eventually won and found a new state founded a new state that would rule Russia and a large part of the Eurasian continent for about 70 years. Communism! Okay. Shooting out that light would get his attention. I can do that? I feel like there's still sound coming from somewhere. No? I'm good. I think my headset's just being wonky. Of course, this isn't an Xbox One headset, it's a PC headset that I converted to Xbox One, so naturally I will have issues with it. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's an artifact down there and I want it. Okay, I see how to get it, though. Oops! Oh, I have a rifle, that's awesome. Okay, hold on. Beak! I'm sure nobody heard that. Get down, buddy. Get the artifact. Beak! Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's barbed wire. Well, standing beneath an underhang. Aha. Oh, that's awesome. It's more modernized. Double! Oh God! I don't need to shoot you in order for my rifle to be useful. I can use it as a freaking club. Club. Orlov's rifle. Orlov wields a modified burden rifle, customized by an old friend named Fedor Tokarev, inspired by the works of American inventor Hiram, Hiram Percy Maxim. He created a unique suppressor for Orlov, but warned him about possible loss of power. Oh, so it is silenced. Huh. It doesn't sound like it, but I guess it would be a heck of a lot louder. He also modified the gun to use 7.62mm cartridges, now, now to use in the Russian army. Now in use in the Russian army. Fuck. Using mostly Mosinogen models, good god. As a result, Orlov's rifle is strangely silent, while not completely, and still quite powerful at short and middle range. From Tokarev's own words, the system may be tweaked and tested, so chances are that Orlov himself can find better positions or attachment devices to increase the efficiency of the silencer. Does that mean I'm going to be finding... Well, probably some of the upgrades. Do, 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 do. I don't need to hold down, I just gotta tap it. Boosh! The phone is glowing. <gasps> really? Oh my god, no way. Uh, hello, sir, your AT&T subscription is up. Nobody wants to get that call. AT&T sucks. Let me through! Let me... 
use my winch? gonna hop through but I guess I could take the elevator like a gentleman okay we'll get crouch I know oh he heard the elevator so he's like the fuck I almost hopped over oh yeah I just spat across the room <laughs> Oh, right, I forgot. I can loot bodies in this game, too. Okay, where the heck did he go? There he is. Okay. What's the name of that one, um... It's a platformer like this, um... With the zombies. Something about light. Fuck! I got it free for gold or whatever, and I tried it, and it was dead light? Or something like that? Um, this is reminding me a lot of that. I don't- it's just- it's more modernized, I guess, so it's making me do my thing. But, okay. Hold on. Use the winch. Now I'll climb the wall to escape through the hatch. Okay. What is going on? Can I get up this thing? I can, okay. Climb up there, you little monkey. You badass, resourceful monkey. Oh, behind a chimney. <sighs> I need more chicken. Um. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. I don't give a fuck if you have a family or not. You're dead! Damn it! I still got a shadow gold. Oh well. <laughs> Dimitri? We need to keep an eye on him. Okay, how much would I bet there's an artifact back this way or something? Or not? Maybe there's an artifact down that way. Wait, also. Well, I had rifle ammo, but I can only carry three at a time anyway, so. Oh, I won't go back to that. I keep forgetting to keep my eyes open for those guys that I need to loot. They glow yellow on my map, I think. Oh no, they have the white exclamation point above their heads, like that guy, so I need to loot him. Okay. Okay, loot the sleeping guy. Ooh. I could catch a ride on the roof of that tram. Well, that would be freaking awesome, wouldn't it? Alright. Creepy crawly. Oh fuck. No! No! Well, I wanted you to jump backwards, not forwards. But whatever. I'll probably get Assassin Silver. It's either Assassin Silver or Shadow Bronze by this point. So, yeah, I guess it's gonna be Assassin Silver. But first. There! And then I murder you. Okay, hold on. Templar Orders 1. Orders have been sent, so you'll be joining Commander Yurovsky's Yurovsky's detachment. Make sure your way to the House of Special- I can't fucking talk! Orders have been sent, so you'll be joining Commander Yurovsky's detachment. Make your way to the House of Special Purpose and await further orders. May the Father of Understanding guide you. I pretty much know what the winch is. Fuck you. Now that you're dead, I will go ahead and murder you too! There. <laughs> Can I... Where am I... Where am I going from here? Where the fuck... There... Am I going? Maybe I would... He has to catch your ride on... Okay, yeah. He has to get on the train. I'm on the train! Unless you want me to use the winch to pull the thing... No? Okay. I can't fucking see. I can't see... <gasps> I want it. Did I miss that? Alright, hold on. I gotta go back. Must go back. Got it! Now, continuing on train. Eh. There we go. 
Can't stop the train. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, oops. I think he saw me. Oh really? Oh shit! They stopped the train. What? Stop the tram. No more this way tonight. Everybody off. Ah. We will miss a checkpoint. We must be cautious. Short. Oh, I thought that was shit. Apparently it's damn. Hmm. Whoops. My bad. <gasps> That's another thing. Use whistle to lure guard. Luring guard. Of course, now that seems like a oh, I can go down. Okay, going down. Oh, gosh. Two thousand two. Go down, buddy. I want to get this artifact. Oh, fuck. No! <laughs> I tried so hard. Oh, god damn it. Smoke grenade to create a way past the guard, or I could just murder him. I prefer murdering, actually, but if you're gonna make me. Wait. I don't have any smoke bombs. Why would you make me- why would you teach me how to use smoke bombs and then not give me any? Stupid. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pay for this, I know it. What was that? Nothing you need to concern yourself with! There we go. You fixed it. Okay. Eh. <clears throat> I know, I suck. Okay. Whee! I suppose I still should be checking. Um, no, I missed an artifact! Oh well, I won't go back. I won't go that far back. Fuck. Save that for my completion run. Which is definitely not this. <laughs> Whee! There's another artifact underneath that bridge, I see it. Hey, our first viewpoint is Nikolai or oops, or Olaf. Boof! Hey, cards. Pretty self-explanatory. I got it, game. Thank you. Katerinburg. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing, like, all of these wrong, based on Russian pronunciation, but whatever. Katerinburg is the fourth largest city in Russia and the administrative center of Sverdlovsk. Oblast. Holy crap. <laughs> Sverdlovsk? Sverdlovsk. Oblast an administrative division of Russia and is located on the border between Europe and Asia. Between 1924 and 1991, it bore the same Sverdlovsk after the Communist Party leader Yakov Sverdlov. Holy crap. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, it was renamed to Katerinburg, but the oblast, which the city was uh, is the administrative center of, kept the name Sverdlovsk. During the revolution, the imperial family was kept prisoner and executed in Ekaterinburg. The city is built on the river Iset. I was about to ask, I wonder what river this is. Okay. I need to get across that bridge. Yes, you do. We can do it together, buddy. Nothing over this way? Aha! I know how to play your game, game. And there's my first chest over there. So I will go get it. Right now. So you guys, unfor- Oops. <laughs> you guys, unfortunately, won't be seeing this until after the finale of Chronicles India is uploaded. But I just uploaded part 10. I'm uploading part 11 today? As of the day I'm recording this, so that would be March 12th. Happy birthday, Dad! And, uh... The finale is part 12, so, yeah. This is real soon, so I figured I'd record earlier. Better late than never. Fuck! God damn! I always pick the worst time to be! <laughs> Ow! Don't touch me! <gasps> uh oh, this is probably bad. Ow! <laughs> I wanted to do that over anyway. Fuck! I need Chinese food. <laughs> In case you're curious, Sarah. Yes, the same Chinese place we took you to when we when you visited. When you and Carlos visited. I don't need to get that chest anymore. Fuck, I forgot. Oh, and I picked up the chest and completely freaking forgot to read it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Nikolai Andreevich Orlov, I think I said that right, was born in the second half of the 19th century. His father, Andre, immigrated to Russia and became a member of the Narodnaya, Narodnaya Volya, 
a terrorist offspring of the Russian Assassin Brotherhood. Oh, goody. He decided to raise Nikolai as an assassin and had him start his training as a child. In the order, Nikolai befriended Alexander Ulyanov and his younger brother, who would later be known as Vladimir Lenin. <gasps> really? Oh, shit. Was that in the graphic novel? I read this a while ago, so of course there's details I'm missing. Plus, I only ever read it once. Very good. I remember I liked it a lot. Dude, but, uh, let's yeah. Let's hope it stays that way. Sorry, I'll just carry him out if you don't mind. No, no. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'll just be on my way. No! Ah! Alright. Oh, you're level 10, are you? Like I give a 